so in the last episode we just got the hello world to work so let's look back at that again so we didn't even look at the uh, console log the console so let's get, uh, let's get our server open again. Yep, here we go. So we've got more tools. Developer tools, I think. Control Shift I. Yeah, down here's our console. Let's leave that open. Try that again. Again. I really expected it to feed something out on the console. Console log. on this console yeah server running that's where it says it at server running at server running okay so that's the console log it's spitting it back out over here yeah I'm with you All right, let's keep reading app listen 3000 module exports response status 200 say send hello world so we're getting our console log here, and we're getting our hello world here. Well, I can close that. And that's just off two files. Okay. Um. Those two files. Look what changed after we ran the uh, the npm install. Huh. Yeah. Whenever we copied these over, we're on the desktop. Main web development second edition. Chapter three. Three one. Oh, so what was I just looking at? So I'm trying to get to. Okay, this is what we've got running off. Just those two files. Let's look at the server again. Thought it was open. Let's look over here. One. This is the server JS. Here we go. This is the package JSON. Yeah, all the work's going on in the server. Okay, so we're getting our hello world. We're getting our server running at 3000. Mount a new middleware function. Hello world. So if you just go to the base URL, you're getting your hello world. And 
that's all that's going on there. Okay. So that's the three one files. Let's go back and look at some three two. What else do we get to in this? Package JSON. Just express four fourteen. It's probably even. I imagine it's the same one. There's no reason to change that. I'll check just because I'm curious now. So, what is this? It always looks like it says 3 1. Let's close these. These are three one, right? Let's close all. Alright. So we haven't ran three two yet. Maybe that other window is just out of date. I think it's I think we've got more files in here now. We started with server and pack out package. I think it's added the package lock and the node modules. Had to that wasn't there before. I know it wasn't. I think that's its job. I think when we run those, it's creating all this. Also happy to see Hello World. I didn't stop to ask about the rest of it. I think that's where all this is coming from. That's node modules. The dependency of Express is loading all this for us. Is my understanding of what's going on there. And when it looked like those weren't added, it was just an, the, uh, the update. It was showing us uh, an old image in the cache. It wasn't an updated window. So here we go, desktop, 3.1. Now let's go down to 3.2. So it was like this, it was just two pit. We'll use this as a case study. We've got package and server again. So when I go in there and run the uh, npm install, this will change. Uh, let's go back to where it would be at in the text and get up to that point. that page yeah, application request and response I think that's what this is referring to I'll just go ahead and read it first uh, package JSON will probably be almost the same oh, that's what I wanted to go back and look at um, JSON in the package. Yeah, it's it's four fourteen two. That's what I was originally looking at, and it didn't job with what I had in memory. Uh, okay. Now we're down 
the, the three two four fourteen package JSON. Yeah, so it's still four fourteen. That was all I was thinking about. Uh, that one okay and the other file we got is the server so this is all that's in there right now when we get a copy of 3.2 from the uh, we download it from the get repository or download the zip file and extract it but this time we've got what is your name hello has name say hello listen server running all right so from those two files we're going to go back into our, our command prompt actually let's get the extension first it's up here so we can just copy that oh we're still at the server here uh should we do something we should do something to get out of that i think it's control c really expected I thought I had to do it twice to turn off the server okay um, so we're gonna change directory and paste in what we just got now we're going to the 3.2 file and again it was a uh, npm nipum install around time 12 minutes 12 and a half the halfway mark <sighs> stood up later and untended last night there we go it's running so a uh, quick plug for myself, uh, 50 cents a minute, junior developer, uh, so in a 40 hour work week, that's $1,200, uh, you should be able to get a, a business crowd up for less than that, uh, like less time, like it'll probably take us about the first $1,000, about the first 30 hours or so, we'll have a good working demo, uh, so if you don't use all your first 40 hours, and not I'll give you a video. Here we go. Basically, we'll document. I document all my work on video, so you know exactly what you're getting, and it helps with documentation. And you can have a intern edit it down later, pull out the highlights, run it through a closed caption to audio extraction, get out the highlights, and edit it down to a nice package. But I'm just getting everything I do as I go, and then a 40-hour work week. Uh, we should still see a CRUD app being built. So here we are back at the command prompt. Uh, the second thing, I guess, node. We're going to start our server, node, server. So we're just going to run that script. Server running at localhost 3000. So let's go back here. Probably still say the same thing once we refer. Oh, what is your name? What's on your mind? Uh, I don't see where it wants me to answer. Maybe that's beyond what we've written in the code already. I thought it was taking answers. Should be a console log. Express deprecated. Use require parameters. Require body. Require query instead server JS okay it doesn't really warn us about that in the text but I think we're okay that probably has to do with why it's not giving me the but what's this is this stuck on something looks like it's still waiting for a uh... okay what is your name let's say turtle oh it won't let me type on the wrong not let me type in that bot window. I th 
think, because it's running the server. So this is still in the middle of a process. When I talk about blocking threads, it's not back to my command prompt to put anything in. I think it's waiting for me to answer a question over here, and because this is a deprecated, it's not showing me the question. Let's look one more place before we give up on this part. Failed to load resource the server. Responded with a status 404 not found. Let's load that again just to make sure. Okay, I'm not going to lose time on it. Yeah, we got 10 minutes left for this. I think for here we can just do a control C. Oh, oh, we got. Give me a lot of those. now let's go back and look at that directory just minimize that now if you remember 3.2 exactly the same thing happened in 3.1 we only started out with two files but because we ran the npm install and the npm server uh, I think running the package makes the package lock and then running the server. Now I think actually running the package is making both of these. Because the package is calling express. And it should be locking itself too. And then when it calls express, it's making all this. Yeah, so there's express. There's a lot in there. Accepts, array, flatten, content, disposition, content type, cookie, cookie signature, debug. Alright. So, I might still reread chapter 3, but I've got a little better idea of what it's talking about now. Where we got to in the final one was actually, let's look at, uh, okay, we're going to close these. Our final set of code from chapter three. threes. Now this has a little bit more. We've got app, the routes, controllers, views, we've got config, we've got express and config, we've got environment, we've got development environment, production environment, and test environment. We've got the public with images. Oh, look at the little logo. Okay, but we've still got the package in the server. So, let's do this one more time. We got time in the episode? Oh yeah, 19 minutes. Best episode yet. These, I'm getting in the flow of these. We're finally getting somewhere. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, we can keep our, uh, getting cocky. Forget the Get the prerequisites. Let's do a file open. I bet I can do it from here. I normally do this from a folder explorer, but I should be able to do it from here too. Copy address. We'll do change directory. Oh, I think change directory. Paste. 
there we go. Now we're going into the three threes, and we're there. Okay, so nip them. Install. And so this is the one that's taken for a minute. So it's. This is where all that stuff's coming from. This is where it's when it installs. It's inserting all these files and directories into your application for you. Aren't I a good coder? Look at all that code I just wrote. Yay me. I'm a master programmer. I made an app. Because that little bar ran across there. Now these are all just building blocks. So once you understand how to snap stuff together, uh, open source has been great. A lot of these guys are just make, I don't even understand where they make their profit at. They're just making it easier on you to make apps. And then telling you for free how to make the apps. All right, and you, you saw it change right there. It actually updated this window for us that time. So all that comes from running uh, install npm install. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is run the server. So here from that in that same directory, we're going to say node server server running and now it just sits there but it's running okay so we'll go back to the window we had open 22 minutes right on schedule okay what is your name hello world what you don't care what my name is anymore I was going to tell you what my name is Oh, look, we got something back on the server though. Users, turtle desktop, node server, server running, get 200. It returned the uh, logo PNG image logo PNG. So that's this right here. If we inspect that. So it's the image. Let's see, it should show up over here. Element, yeah. Oh, it's the whole thing. It's this. Uh, open image and new tab. We'll open just that image. It's still showing up over here. So it's got a transparent background. So the the name's part of that image. Named it different this time. Localhost logo PNG image logo PNG. I'm just, I guess that's okay. That's the status. That's the header response. It's the end of the episode. 25 minutes. 23:50. You're off timer. Go home timer. You're drunk. All right. I think that's pretty cool. I think we got this some good code here. Uh, I might go ahead and. We've kind of reviewed chapter three, but I got the code wrong at the end, so now that we see the code working the way it's supposed to, we might go back and read up a little bit better on that. Uh, I'm curious about the part where we're supposed to be able to get a name and response. I might go back and play with that, because I think we're supposed to be able to respond in the uh, command line over here. Control C, get me, okay. yeah, get me out of there. Okay. So that's good. Here's the code. We've looked at the code. We saw how it expanded from the extraction. Uh, I'm going to leave brackets open. Okay, we looked at all three of those. The code mess is what we did from the previous episode. I might, if uh, it's 25. Alright, talk to you guys soon.